I'm joined now by Reagan biographer Craig Shirley. Craig, thanks so much for being here. Uh, let me first ask you, the love story between Ronald Reagan and Nancy was one of the great love stories of not just D.C., not just Hollywood, but of our country. Yes, absolutely. Uh, they were married for over uh, for almost 54 years. Uh, I would say that their uh, marriage and their partnership and their soul, uh, they're, they're touching each other. They're, everything about them rivals uh, the Washington marriage and, uh, and that of uh, Abigail and John Adams. They really were not only uh, soulmates, uh, but, uh, but best friends. And they actually preferred to be alone with each other as opposed to the company of others. How instrumental was Nancy Reagan in shaping her husband's presidential legacy? You know, it was once said that if uh, Ronald Reagan wanted to be a sh shoe salesman, Nancy Reagan would have made sure he was the best shoe salesman in the world. Uh, is that Jimmy Stewart observed uh, that if Ronald, if, if Reagan had married Nancy, uh, she would have made sure that he won at least several Academy Awards. She was that invested and that interested in, in seeing his career uh, succeed and seeing him rise. So she she didn't get in, uh, involved in policy so much, but she did in, in presentation and uh, and personnel and uh, and uh, the politics of, uh, of, uh, of the conservative movement and later the Republican Party. Uh, Craig, certainly uh, uh, there have been other strong first ladies, uh, Lady Bird Johnson, who was married to LBJ, for example, uh, Rosalind Carter. But, but Nancy could also be a controversial figure in the White House, especially if she felt someone wasn't doing right by her husband. Uh, for example, she was instrumental in the firing of chief of staff at the time, uh, Don Regan. Explain the impact of that toughness and political maneuvering. Well, you're absolutely right. Uh, is uh, Don Regan made the mistake? Uh, you know, he was he was told by outgoing chief of staff Jim Baker to get on Nancy's good side, the standard good side, and Don Regan didn't take that advice. So he uh, hung up on her a couple times, and uh, she didn't take that uh, very well. And of course, Regan. Uh, was mismanaging uh, Reagan's career as Iran Contra was rising as a uh, as a major scandal, a uh, major crisis in the uh, in the Reagan presidency. So uh, the, everything kind of came together to uh, force his uh, ouster. But certainly, getting on the wrong side of uh, Nancy Reagan didn't help. She also had a hand in in ousting uh, 1980 campaign manager John Sears uh, because she felt that. He he, she was no longer helping uh, Reagan win the nomination, but in fact uh, hurting him. So she did occasionally get involved in personnel. She was uh, she had great radar, better radar than he did as far as detecting who was there to help him and who was there to help themselves. All right, Craig All right. Shirley, thank you so much for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. You bet.